Um, the paper chip quality is incredible, as are our warranties. What I love, really love doing, um, especially for cooking shows like this, which I usually do right in people's houses, but obviously with the current crisis, um, we're doing this virtually today. But what I love about doing these shows is sharing tips and tricks and making cooking fun and healthy. Well, not always healthy, but I do try. And I promise to have some healthy recipes today. Bill, can you share a little bit about Nation of Patriots? Absolutely. Uh, so for those of you in the chat, um, it'd be interesting to know if you could let us know if you've ever heard of the Nation of Patriots before or if this is your first time coming to check out a cooking show and, and hear about us at the same time. So I'm just pulling the audience here. Um, we are essentially a 501c3 nonprofit organization uh, that raises financial support for disabled veterans and their families all across the country. We have been doing our thing here for uh, about 11, going on 11 years. Um, and we have raised and donated collectively over the course of our existence uh, over a million dollars, which is something we're extremely excited about. Um, it's it's a huge mile marker for us because we are a 100% volunteer organization, which means that every single dollar that we come, that we receive as a donation goes directly to the veterans and their families that we strive to help. Um, there are no middlemen. Myself and, and our team here, we work directly with the veterans. We seek them out all over the country through VA hospitals, through VFWs, American Legions. Uh, we vet them through a, a process, and, and when we do connect, uh, we pay their bills, we provide food, we provide supplies, you name it, anything to help uh, make ends meet and, and allow them to plant their feet and move forward in a financially healthy manner. So any questions as we go, certainly chat them to me. I'll be talking on and off and uh, happy to get you acquainted. That's great, Bill. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that about Nation of Patriots. I'm so excited to be partnering with, with you for the first in a series of fundraisers over the coming months. Um, so maybe we could take a look at the chat, Bill. Where, where are some of our guests coming from? Oh, we are all over the place. We have Las Vegas, Brookfield, Wisconsin, Beaver Dam, Sussex. There's somebody downstairs in my kitchen named Margie uh, <laughs> who's joining <laughs> Uh, Milwaukee, Florida, Bozeman, Neshota, uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and there's quite a few more. <laughs> so all a pretty good mix today. That's great. That's so incredible that we have people from all over the U.S. joining today to help support Nation of Patriots. I'm excited to have everyone here. Thanks for joining. So um, with most of us, or I'm sorry, we actually, Bill, you had asked people to chat out if they were familiar with um, Nation of Patriots. Are there a lot of people on, online who have heard of it before or a lot of first timers? That looks like a mix too. See a lot of first timers. So welcome and nice to meet you. Great. All right, well, with most of us at home all day, more mouths to feed and kitchen supplies running low, today's segment will feature recipes using ingredients you probably already have in your pantry. So I'll show you how Pamper Chef can make feeding your family easier and healthier, and hopefully you'll have some fun along the way. But make sure you're paying attention because there will be a quiz and prizes later. We also know that some of you may be attending your first Pampered Chef party. Um, we're gonna put up a poll just to see who who's familiar with Pampered Chef. If you could take a moment to respond to that poll that my trusty assistant is launching. And while we wait for those results, Bill, can you tell us a little bit about the upcoming Patriot Tour? Yeah, that's a really popular subject seen as everything in the country has closed down. Uh, everybody wants to know what we're doing with our tour. We are scheduled to launch the 11th consecutive Patriot Tour on May 23rd from Williams, Arizona. Uh, it's a big first for us. For 10 years, we have launched and, and brought the Patriot Tour home to Wisconsin, um, or from Wisconsin and back to Wisconsin. This year, it's going to go to Arizona and then next year to a different state and a different state and a different state and on and on and on. So we're kind of spreading the spotlight out there. Um, and for those of you that are unfamiliar with the Patriot Tour, it is our big event. It's what we do every single year. Um, we essentially pass one American flag 
around the entire continental United States. Uh, the plague starts and stops every single day, so it goes to a new town, new city, new state every single day. Um, the tour uh, takes about 112 days to complete. Starts Memorial Day weekend this year and will end the weekend after Labor Day. So it's a big event. It's a it's a big undertaking for our volunteer group, um, but we have done it successfully every single year, and it's helped us raise and donate over a million dollars to wounded veterans across the nation. That's great. That's an incredible, incredible tour, Bill. Thanks for sharing that with us. So um, we've had a few people joining. Um, sorry that you've missed the first intro, but I, I'm sure you'll catch up. We haven't really started any of the recipes yet. Um, just looking at the poll from the people who are familiar with Pampered Chef, it looks like the majority of our guests today actually are um, pretty familiar with Pampered Chef. We've got about 86% of the people on on the line have used it before and only a couple of, of new users. So what I'm gonna do today is walk you through, through some of our popular products as well as show you some of our newly launched products as we talk about the recipes today. If you're already a Pampered Chef user, which it sounds like most of you are, I'd love for you to drop us a chat to the group letting us know your favorite Pampered Chef tool and how you use it. Every time I ask this question at a show, I learn new and unique uses for the products that I've been using for years. So I'd love to hear how you're using your product. And for those of you who, um, who already know a little bit about Patriot Tour, we'd love to hear why you love the, um, the Nation of Patriots as well. What do you love about this organization? So while people are posting some of those chats, either about their favorite Pampered Chef product or why they love Nation of Patriots, so I thought maybe you could um, just share the fundraising goal for this year. Yeah, we are looking for, uh, or we're looking to raise $300,000 this year. Uh, as I mentioned, we're an all-volunteer organization, so we, we strive to raise as much as possible, but we do so in a very responsible manner. Uh, we make as much as we can give out. So um, 300000 is the goal. Uh, last year was 250000 and we, we met that. Um, this year, we're hoping to hit 300000 So. With, with the aid of, of this campaign and others that we're going to be launching around the country, um, we hope to get there. Great. Thanks, Bill. The Nation of Patriots is such a great organization. I'm so proud to be working together to help raise funds for such deserving military families. And I really hope that we have a successful show so we can put a dent in this year's goal. Um, at the same time, hopefully we can bring some new recipes and tools to you as we all struggle through this tough time. So before we get started, let me, let, let me tell you how Pampered Chef fundraisers work. Nation of Patriots will earn 15% of the total sales made under the link that you'll see in the chat. Bill's going to post that there for you, so if you get a chance to copy it, you can um, paste that into your browser for ordering later or scanning the catalog. They'll also get $3 for every future party that's booked off of this. And on top of that, I'm going to bump up the amount that Pampered Chef is donating to Nation of Patriots by another 5% personally, and I'll add 5% of the sales from this show um, as a contribution to Nation of Patriots. And as a little thank you to all of you who place orders, if you place an order over $100, I'm going to add a little thank you gift to your order as well. So the great part about this is that your purchase not only helps Nation of Patriots, but you'll have an opportunity to round up from the heart for Feeding America while you're checking out. And Pampered Chef donates 10 meals for each cut and seal sold and each scoop and spread sold. This is the scoop and spread. This is definitely a must have tool in, in my tool drawer. Um, it's great for scooping things out of jars, scooping out peanut butter. You can use the opposite side to spread it on. And the serrated edge also can actually cut things. So just by purchasing this, if it's a tool that you need in, in your tool drawer, Pampered Chef also donates 10 meals to Feeding America. So there's lots of ways to help out a variety of charities by making an order from today's show. And the great thing is that 100% of the contributions benefit your local Feeding America member food bank. So no matter where you live, your contributions stay local. I know we've got people from all over the country today. So if you're taking advantage of any of those opportunities, those donations will actually go directly to your local Feeding America food bank. So let's get started with the food and the fun. While we're going through the show, um, please feel free, since we've got everyone on, on um, muted for right now, 
please feel free to chat out questions about Nation of Patriots, Pampered Chef, the recipes, the tools I'm using, um, and we'll try to get to those. Bill's gonna monitor the chat while we're going through the show, and um, Bill, just interrupt me if, if there's a good point to do that, or maybe as we're transitioning between recipes, um, you can share some of the comments or questions. Absolutely. So, great, thanks. So when I'm planning a meal, whether it's for a day or for a week, I like to try to coordinate my ingredients, kind of like packing a suitcase for a trip. I know that sounds funny, but I like to think of it as what goes together, which ingredients can I use multiple times in different ways. So for today's recipes, I've started with a few staples that I have in the refrigerator, the freezer, and the pantry. We're gonna go kind of quick today, um, but we are gonna give you all of the recipes. I won't actually be using a lot of the tools in today's recipes or putting them together. I put everything together in advance because we're trying to get a lot of recipes and ideas out to you since we're all stuck at home. And unfortunately those in Wisconsin are stuck at home for another month. Um, but we will get the recipes out to you via the chat. They'll also be available on the Nation of Patriots website or you can always reach out to me. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, please chat those out um, and we're going to get started. So I wanted to squeeze in some easy breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes for today that all kind of coordinate with each other. So to start, I prepped a few of the ingredients that would be used in multiple recipes. Remember, packing that suitcase so I can use multiple outfits, in this case, multiple ingredients in multiple recipes. So I started with our Pampered Chef Quick Cooker to prep, prep some chicken for both our lunch and dinner recipes. This is our electric pressure cooker. It has 16 preset functions. I could do an entire show on this, but for today, I just used the sear function and the pressure cooker function. And for those of you who are current users of this product and maybe have them at home, you'll be happy to know that Pampered Chef came out with a new glass lid um, in the spring catalog to fit on the inner pot of our quick cooker. Um, it's also great because it fits the instant read thermometer right through a hole in the top so you can monitor the temperature of the food that you've got um, warming or, or cooking in the quick cooker. So I like this new addition to the, um, to the accessories to the quick cooker. So the chicken that I cooked in the quick cooker, for the recipes I, I cooked today, I actually like to shred my chicken. And what I use to shred my chicken is our Pampered Chef salad choppers. I know I said salad choppers, but they're actually great for shredding chicken, pork. I've got a chicken breast in our batter bowl here. And as you can see, I can just Shred the chicken to whatever, if I want it more slice-like, I'll do fewer shreds. If I want it in smaller pieces, like for our lunch pizzas, I just keep shredding. I love using, I love using our salad choppers and um, they really come in handy, of course, not just for chicken and pork, but also for salad, herbs, and anything like that that you want to chop up. Chopped salads are another favorite of mine, so this is, this is another one of my must-have tools. And the batter bowl was used multiple times for today's recipes. I mixed my recipes right in, in the bowl and it has the great pour spout feature so it easily pours into whatever baking or cooking vessel you're using. So another multi-use tool here. I also prepped some ground Italian sausage for both our lunch and our dinner as optional add-ins. And I just wanna show you what I used to prep that today. So um, kind of a, a little bit of a tip here. If you don't have ground Italian sausage at home, which I didn't, but I did have some Italian sausage links in the freezer, actually from last summer, but they're still good. Um, I often do that with breakfast sausages or like Italian sausages. You can just remove the casing, really pretty much squeeze the sausage out of it, and then use the meat inside for ground meats. I used our nonstick cookware to cook it and our mix and chop but I could have also seared the meat in our quick cooker um, like I did the chicken. What I love about our, um, our nonstick cookware is it is really easy cleanup. As you'll notice, it doesn't have any um, rivets or screws here, so if no food's getting, gonna get stuck in there. I can use our mix and chop in this cookware as well as other nonstick cookware. It won't harm, the Pampered Chef cookware won't scratch, but other Teflon cookware will, but you can use the mix and chop in there and it's great for chopping and mixing the meat. I also use it for mashed potatoes and a variety of other uses. The other great thing I love about our nonstick cookware is 
is how easy it cleans up. I mentioned how easy it is even to hand wash, but the handle actually comes apart from the, the saute pan. And you can, these are both dishwasher safe. And the bottom part is also, um, you're able to cook in the oven with it. So easy to store because you don't have handles that you're trying to maneuver in the cabinet and easy to get into the dishwasher. You can just stick this in with the silverware and this in um, with the rest of the dishes and it cleans up so easily. So these are a couple of my favorite products, um, both for cooking and for cleanup. So finally, I shredded a bunch of cheese using our microplane adjustable grater. I like to actually buy cheese in bulk and then shred it myself and freeze it as necessary. Not a good idea to buy bulk cheese and freeze it and try to shred it later, but it's, it's great to shred it and then freeze it. Not only is that um, cheaper because you're buying it in bulk, but it's also healthier. Um, if you ever want to know, take a look at that shredded cheese bag in your refrigerator and you'll notice it has preservatives in it that if you buy bulk and freeze it yourself, you don't need. Um, the other thing that I like about our microplane grater is the food holder and your finger, you put the food into the hole, put the cover on and your fingers never get close to the grater. So it's really safe and easy. I actually used this to shred some potatoes for our breakfast, one of our breakfast dishes today as well. And I'll demonstrate this product with our dinner. So everything that I've shown you so far today and everything that I will show you is actually um, dishwasher safe other than the outer shell of the quick cooker. The insides of the quick cooker are dishwasher safe, um, but that's the great thing about most of the Pampered Chef products is that they're all dishwasher safe. So it really makes it easier on yourself and it's also safer to use your dishwasher to clean as much as you can these days. The CDC is actually recommending that you use dishwashers instead of hand washing because of the temperature of the water can actually kill off more of the germs. So anything to make your job easier and things safer and healthier, especially these days. So let me um, get set up for breakfast and Bill, maybe there's some um, questions or comments to share from the chat feature. Not quite at the moment. Uh, everybody's commenting on the products that they love. So the mini spatula, uh, the pans, and the pressure cooker, and let's see what else. Oh, the garlic press, Jenny. That's a, that seems to be a, a hot item. <laughs> I don't think we've seen it yet, but nope. no, that's a, that's a hot one. <laughs> I'll actually be demonstrating that later. So I've got our breakfast items out. Let me tell you a little bit about what I did and then we'll actually show these up close to the camera so everybody can see them. Um, so for breakfast recipes, I have baked oatmeal bars um, and Bill's gonna post these in the chat again and you can always get them from me or online. So don't worry, we'll share them. If you wanna get into the chat and copy them once Bill gets them out there, that'll be great. Um, so I've got baked oatmeal bars, green monster muffins and mini frittatas. So the bars and the muffins are both made with whole grain oats and both make great breakfast or snack items. Um, so I told you I was gonna try to be healthy and I, and I actually am. The, the muffins are also made with applesauce and bananas. So they're really a great um, healthy item. Um, the bars and the frittatas were both made in our brownie pan. And um, so our brownie pan is for more than just brownies. So let me just get this last frittata out of the brownie pan. And they pop out really easily. I'm using our mini serving spatula, and um, which easily gets them out as well. So this is a versatile product that everything from breakfast to dessert can go in it. I actually make quite a few things in here. So um, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret before I show you our, our baked oatmeal bars. I actually add a streusel topping to my bars that's not in the recipe that we're posting to you. And the recipe also calls for you to bake this in a baker and then cut it into bars. But like I said, I like to cook in the brownie pan a lot because it makes kind of um, bite size or snack size um, bars. And the streusel I actually made using our pastry blender. So good old fashioned um, pastry blender. Um, 
And let me just put our last muffin on the tray before I show these to you. So if I haven't um, if I haven't just pulled the muffins out of the um, out of the oven, I like to heat them up before I serve them, and I oftentimes do that in our Pampered Chef tortilla warmer. Uh, this is actually great for heating up muffins, dinner rolls, pancakes, waffles, and of course tortillas. Um, you can heat them up in the microwave in here. You can take it to the table, and it'll actually stay warm on the table for you while you're serving. So great for like dinner rolls. Um, at dinner. And the great thing about this is it actually comes free with an order of $80 today. So um, easy for you to get one. And it's also dishwasher safe. I'm going to let you take a look at the um, at the breakfast items. I'm serving them on our Pampered Chef entertaining platter set. These are great items to not only serve your food on, but they are actually stone cookware that you can put in the oven so you can bake on them and bring them right out to your table or your counter and they look great. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see these and hopefully they look yummy. The muffins, are their green color actually comes from the addition of our kale and fiber enrichable. And on the right hand side are the baked oatmeal bars and you can see kind of the streusel topping on them, so. These are really yummy. They're both really yummy, heated up, um, warm. So let me tell you a little bit about our kale and fiber enrichables. The enrichables are a newer line for Pampered Chef and they come in both the kale and fiber and the pea protein. Um, both of these are soy, gluten, and dairy free, vegan, non-GMO, and made without nuts. So they're really great for anybody regardless of you know, how you eat. Um, and even the kids because there, there are no nuts involved. I know that personally I have a hard time getting my veggies in and my fiber, so the kale and fiber is great for, for me. What's great about these is they can be added to smoothies, sauces, pasta dishes, soups, batters, ground meats, and they don't change the taste in any of your recipes. So they're a great addition to help get you know, those healthy things into you easily, and, and for the kids especially. Um, and the other great thing about them is they are on sale this month for 30% off, which is kind of unheard of. I'll tell you a little bit more about that um, a little bit later. But let's get on to the frittatas. They're actually a flexible option for a picky family. You can easily tailor each frittata to the individual likes of your family. I use the ingredients that I had on hand. Um, and was using for the other meals. So for example, I've got cheese, veggies, sausage, basil, you could add leftover ham from Easter. Um, and I've, so I actually have one in here because our, our dinner recipe for tonight is bruschetta pasta. One of these is bruschetta made with the tomatoes, the basil, and the cheese. So these are also excellent to make ahead and then just heat up in the microwave if you don't have um, a large family or you don't need a lot at once. And also, if you're single or cooking for one, you can actually make these in your ceramic egg cooker. I noticed that somebody commented that they love their ceramic egg cooker. You could actually use this to make a mini frittata in the microwave or the oven, because this is also oven safe. In the, um, I'd be interested to hear what, what would you guys put in your frittatas? What, what would be your favorite ingredients to throw into there? Um, and then a little um, deviation from the recipe that we're going to share with you. The recipe calls for frozen hash browns in the bottom of the brownie pan before you throw in your eggs and all your ingredients. But I actually substituted some potatoes I had in the pantry. And I think I mentioned earlier, I just grated them on the microplane grater. So, you know, whatever you have on, on hand, that's the whole point of this is we're cooking from our pantries and what we have on hand. Nobody wants to run out to the store just for a single ingredient. Um, you know, in today's crisis. So do we have any, any ingredients shared? Not quite yet. I was just uh, telling my wife that we need about five of those egg cookers. <laughs> 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 or the brownie pan, you can just cook in there. <laughs> Yeah. All right. The other thing that I thought, which would have been fun to do, and I, I probably should have done this, is I could have used the kale and fiber and made green eggs and ham. Kids would, would love that probably, right? 
um, for your kids who are familiar with Dr. Seuss. Um, so, and that's a great way that you can use the enrichables. Um, so it, it would actually change the color, but you'd be getting your vegetables in there and the kids would never know. So when you're making something like the mini frittatas, just clean out the fridge or freezer and get creative. Um, all right, anything to share from the chat? I'm gonna get lunch. Yeah, we got, uh, we got goat cheese, we have spinach, bacon, <laughs> green peppers, salt and pepper. <laughs> uh, that sounds great. Leftover meat and veggies, yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah, I actually, here, had, I actually had some, um, red peppers in some of ours as well. All right, so we're moving on to lunch. Um, I'm sure that everyone is missing their favorite pizza restaurant right now. So how about making your own with the ingredients you might have on hand, like English muffins and bagels for your base. This is another versatile recipe because you can just use whatever's in your pantry or fridge, cheese, sausage, olives, pineapple, tomatoes, you know, whatever your family likes and whatever is on the fridge. Hopefully people aren't getting too hungry. I guess you probably just finished eating lunch, but um, we're gonna put up a little poll and see what your favorite pizza topping is while I talk a little bit more about the recipe. So remember, we're cooking from the pantry. So for sauces, if you don't have pizza sauce on hand, you can use leftover marinara from last night's pasta or that bottle of barbecue sauce that's sitting in the pantry or sitting in the fridge because you haven't finished it off. So those make great sauces. And, and then the toppings that you have on hand or in the fridge or maybe even in the freezer, um, finish it off. So what I am cooking, what I cooked the um, pizzas on is our Rock Crock grill pan. And I did that under the bro broiler. The Rock Crock line is one of the most versatile Pampered Chef lines. It actually can be cooked under the broiler, as I mentioned on the stovetop, in the oven, in the microwave, and even on your outdoor grill. So versatile, and it comes in a variety of different sizes. I'm actually gonna use a different rock crock, rock crock item for our dinner. Now the trick to getting a good um, bagel or muffin pizza is to pre-toast on both sides the muffin or the bagel. So I actually just pop them on the, on the grill pan, threw them under the broiler, turned them over, just give them a light toasting. Otherwise, otherwise the sauces kind of seep into um, the bread and then make kind of a soggy pizza. After that, you can top them the way you want. And then once you top them, put them back under the broiler um, to whatever your desired taste is. So let me take a look at the poll. It looks like um, our winner at 38% is sausage, followed by pepperoni and mushrooms at both at 15%. Nobody likes my pineapple idea. I love pineapple on pizza and pineapple and jalapenos in particular. But um, all right. So thanks for joining that poll. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. We have a question. Um, can the uh, cast iron be cleaned by just rinsing in the dishwasher? Uh, cast iron should not be put in the dishwasher. We're actually going to do a whole show on cast iron. I think it's um, maybe a month from now, but cast iron should not be put in the dishwasher. It should be scraped off. And if you, if you purchase cast iron from Pampered Chef, we'll actually give you our scraper tool. Um, scrape it off while it's still kind of warm, and then you just want to, to rinse it. Um, the, the Pampered Chef cast iron actually comes pre-seasoned, so you don't have to worry about doing that before you start cooking with it. But eventually, uh, you know, even after a while, whether you're using Pampered Chef or another cast iron, it seasons itself from the food that you're cooking, and you don't want to um, do that in the dishwasher. So thanks, great question. So for dinner, as I mentioned, I'm using another Rock Crack product. Um, this time I used it in the microwave. This is our Dutch oven, Rock Crack. I cook in it a lot um, and I do go from stovetop to oven, um, you know, and other recipes for microwave. I chose the microwave recipe today because it's an easy pasta dish. And by the looks of the grocery shelves, I know that everyone has pasta on hand right now. So um, before we get to what the final outcome looks like that, I wanted to demonstrate how I put together the sauce for it. And it, it's a bruschetta pasta, so it's really just a couple of ingredients. It's tomatoes, basil, and garlic. 
and the noodles, of course. Um, so I'm using our manual food processor to process the tomatoes, the basil, and the garlic. I've already got the um, chunks of tomatoes and some fresh basil in there. I'm using the garlic press that everyone was asking about that I too love. Our garlic press is so easy to use and you really get a good press out of it. I mean, you really get all of the garlic out of it. So um, you put your garlic uh, clove in there, skin on. Don't remove the skin, no need to get your hands all smelly. Skin on, press it into your spot. I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but a lot of garlic came out. And then for the stuff that's kind of stuck on the end there, it comes with a handy tool to scrape the garlic in. So just scrape that off. The other side of the scraping tool is actually the cleaner. So that helps you then clean out the skin um, before you put it in the dishwasher. So let me set that aside and show you how the manual food processor works. Just a note about using fresh garlic, it's actually healthier for you and a lot cheaper. Um, I actually looked at a container of garlic that was already um, you know, chopped up in the store that you can buy. And the other ingredient, which is the preservative for it, I, I just did some quick research on it and it was actually used in fertilizer. So I don't know if you want to eat a product, uh, an ingredient that's used in fertilizer, but I don't. So I love using our garlic crust and also our garlic chopper, which I can show you later. Um, and, and fresh garlic, you know, like I said, cheaper and then much healthier for you. So I've got our ingredients in here and the manual food processor is great because it'll never break because it doesn't have a motor. So really ingredients in and then just pump. You'll actually do this, you know, to whatever consistency you want. This is great for making sauces, salsa, bruschetta like I'm making today. If you're left-handed, just turn it around or if your right hand gets tired, Turn it around and pump the other way. The container actually has a silicone base, so it won't slide across the, the counter. And um, if you're making salsa, for example, and you're gonna wanna put that in the fridge for later, it actually comes with a cover so you can that fits tightly on it. Um, I've not seen any other food processors or, or owned ones in the past before I owned this that has a cover. So you take the blade out, put the cover on, and store it away. The bottom part of this is dishwasher safe. The top is not one of the few things that isn't dishwasher safe, but, um, but it has a lot of great uses. has a lot of the measurements on the side too, so if you're measuring straight into this, it's very easy to use. All right. So once everything was cooked and combined, so I had um, diced up a lot of bruschetta um, mix earlier today and cooked the pasta. Um, we actually can top it off with some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to get our micro grater out. I've got some Parmesan cheese in here. The adjustable grater can stand up on your countertop if you want to, you know, shred right over the counter, or it can lay flat and shred over a bowl, a plate, whatever. So I'm just going to shred some Parmesan cheese. You can kind of see it falling there, and you notice my fingers never get close to the, to the blades. So, let me serve some of this up so you guys can see what it looks like. And bruschetta pasta in less than 15 minutes. Dinner just doesn't get any easier than that. Fresh and healthy. And additional add-ons to this, I mentioned earlier that we prepared the chicken breast and the Italian sausage. This is vegetarian now, but if you want some extra protein in there, throw in your chicken or your Italian sausage. All right. So before we wrap up, I just wanted to share a couple of new, um, while we're on the kick of, of healthy cooking, um, I know a lot of you have little ones at home and maybe making your own um, baby food. I wanted to share two of our newly launched products. They just came out last month. We've got our BPA-free reusable food pouches and our mini freezer bowl and rack. So the pouches are spill-proof and the covers are attached so they won't get lost. I don't have kids at home, but I heard that these are all the latest rage. What I like about the 
freezer bowls. So a lot of people make their baby or toddler food in here. Um, it comes with six bowls. I've just got three in here right now and the rack. And then you can freeze them and take out the individual servings as needed. These are microwave safe as well as um, oven safe to 400 degrees, not the covers, just the, the silicone bases. But what I like to use the bowls for is to make individual smoothie portions that I freeze. So this is actually just an individual portion of frozen smoothie. I make up the entire batch and then I freeze them. And when I want a smoothie, instead of pulling out my blender and you know the mess that that creates, I actually just rehydrate this with my favorite juice or water. So, um, so it makes cleanup from smoothies. I know everybody likes smoothies, but they are really a hassle to clean up. And although we have our new long skinny scraper, which makes cleaning up that cooking blender or blender um, easier, it really helps if you can just make a single batch a week, freeze it and bring it out as you need it. I know that it makes me actually want to have a smoothie more often because I know I don't have the hassle of having to clean up um, each time I want one. So for the month of April, wanted to share a couple of sales that we have going on as we wrap up. And Pampered Chef has discounted five of our kitchen helpers to $20 each, which is such a great deal. We're gonna put a little graphic up so you can see what they are. So what you see here are the salad cutting bowl, which is a combination colander, cutting platform, bowl, lid, and condiment container. So it's kind of your all-in-one salad bowl. And once we get back to the office, this would be a great way to take your lunch to the office. The next item, the next item is the microwave popcorn maker, which helps you make healthier microwave popcorn without the cost or the chemicals that are in those microwave popcorn bags. And this is one of the hottest items in, in my shows um, in the last couple of months. The microwave popcorn maker has just been a big hit. Next, we have the, um, kitchen, the microwave breakfast sandwich maker. So you can actually make your entire um, breakfast sandwich, including like the English muffin, um, all in one container, and they'll either cook or steam as each item is necessary. The fourth item is our four-piece kitchen utensil set, which is pretty self-explanatory. And finally, the microwave pasta cooker makes two servings of pasta in the microwave in about 10 minutes without boil over and with a built-in strainer. So those are all great items that, as you can see, have been discounted from five to $10 and are on sale just this month. All right, then the next great um, April special involves the Super Enrichables line that we talked about earlier. So as I mentioned, there's the pea protein and the kale and fiber. They are on a 30% discount whether you buy it one time this month or if you sign up for the subscription this month, it's for the life of your subscription. And you can cancel that subscription very easily at any point in time. So I, I just, you know, the price of a single box um, is either $20 or both boxes for $34. Um, each box has 12 packs in it and it usually lasts about a month. Um, you know, mixing it into your different recipes. So what a great deal. When's the last time you received a discount on a subscription beyond your first order? I, I never have. I, I like those deals where you can sign up for, you know, monthly delivery, but they only give you the discount on the first time. So Pampered Shop is so much more than I've been able to share with you here today. So check out our complete line of items in the catalog. Bill's gonna post a virtual catalog link in the chat, or I can send it to you if you reach out to me. Um, items are also searchable at the party order link, and we'll get that up one more time before the end of the show. If you have any trouble finding something that you're looking for, a question about a certain uh, specific kitchen need that you have, please reach out to me. Bill's gonna post my email in the chat, or you can chat to me at the end of the show. But I wanna thank everyone so much for the interest and participation today. I had fun and I hope that you all enjoyed the presentation and find the recipes something that you might enjoy making with your families. So we're gonna post a recording of this show to the Nation of Patriot webpage for you to return to or to share with others. We really wanna get the word out. But let's, let's, before we finish off, let's see who's been paying attention for a chance to win a prize. So get your chat feature ready. If you haven't been chatting throughout, remember the chat feature is on the bottom of the screen, kind of mid-center, there's a chat icon. Click on it, chat to everyone so that Bill can see your answer. And um, type in the answer to this question and hit return or enter. 
Um, so the first to chat, the closest to the correct answer, I'm gonna add a prize to your order delivery. And the question is, what year did Nation of Patriots attempt the first Patriot tour? So while we're waiting for somebody to get their answer in and win that prize, um, let me tell you that orders are shipped directly to your home and come with the Pampered Chef satisfaction guarantee, including my assistance on using the products after you purchase. So I'm always here for you to reach out, um, help you if you're having trouble using it, pass on recipe ideas. Um, and, and so that's something a little bit better than you get if you shop on Amazon for these kinds of tools. All right, Bill, we, I see a lot of answers out there. So it looks like everybody was trying for the prize. Who is our first winner? Uh, well, a lot of people got it right. Um, so 2009 was the first year of the Patriot Tour. Um, I, I attempted to do it on my own. We were gonna go out and blast on the scene and raise a million bucks for uh, vet veterans and their families. And we ended up raising about 1,500 bucks. So we were a wee bit short. I'm sorry, $2,100 is what we raised. So we, were, we were just shy of that goal, but it was 2009 when we attempted and failed at the first Patriot Tour. 2010 was the, the real edition and the real version. So we, we started counting from 2010 and on. So we're technically in our 11th year, um, plus one if you count 2009. So. Great. So yeah, we have several winners. You want me to just pick the first The one? first person who had the right answer? You got it would be uh, Dana Shear had it right at the top. All right, Dana, we'll be adding a prize to your order. Um, so uh, just a reminder to place an order for the Nation of Patriots fundraiser. Just copy the link from the chat area. Bill's gonna post that one more time. But I'd like to do one more prize question, um, if everybody can get ready again. All right, the question is, how many veterans has Nation of Patriots helped in its 10-year history? That's a good one. <laughs> I like your answer, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. Uh -oh, for that. He is never wrong, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while we're waiting for those answers to come in and Bill to see who the winner is, I wanted to remind everyone that orders of $80 or more before taxes and shipping will automatically receive our April guest special, which is the tortilla warmer. It's a $14 value and it'll be free. If you forget to put it on your order, I will definitely add it if your order is over $80. And as my special thank you to all of you, I'm so thankful for you joining today and for helping me support Nation of Patriots. If your order is $100 or more in products before taxes and shipping, I'll also add a special gift to your order and I'll put that in um, before I send in your orders. So Bill, who's our second winner? <laughs> well, we have a lot of guesses ranging from lots to 300,000. So I think we aspire to get to the 300,000 number, but we're, we're one veteran family at a time. So we are at about, we're just over 500 families helped in our 10 year history. Um, and each one of those families has received an average of about $2,000 a piece. So, um, give or take a little bit more. So, All right. now, <laughs> now people so, are guessing 500. <laughs> Good job, smart. Um, I guess at the top of the list would be Courtney Rowe with 2,000, um, if you want to count that. <laughs> All right, okay, Courtney, I'll be adding a prize to your order as well. So um, the most important thing is really kind of getting the word out. So please share the party order link with anyone you know who might be interested in Pampered Chef or and or and hopefully supporting the Nation of Patriots. The link will be open until April 22nd. Um, and just a reminder, you can host your own virtual party for a smaller group of friends and family to raise additional funds for Nation of Patriots or just free products for yourself. So please either chat me your interest, um, check the box on your order form, reach out to me via email. Um, just let me know if you're interested in hosting your own party. And just a reminder that Nation of Patriots gets $3 from Pampered Chef for every party that's hosted. 
So other than that, I want to tell everyone to stay tuned for our next virtual fundraiser on May 2nd, when we'll tackle tips, tricks, and simple substitutions. Um, so I know sometimes you don't always have all of those items for a recipe in your pantry. I'll help you think of or identify some substitutions that you can use and some tricks to using various cooking products. So um, beyond that, we've got a lot, we've got a full calendar of events, barbecue, cast iron cooking, desserts, um, you name it, harvest cooking later in the summer. We're gonna be putting on a show every two weeks, just like this. Um, and hopefully one of them at least will be live when the tour comes through Wisconsin, if COVID is gone. So invite all of your friends. Um, let me know if you want a link to the calendar, the whole calendar for events. But the more we spread the word, the more funds we raise for Nation of Patriots and the incredible veterans who give so much of themselves for us. Until then, be well and know that brighter days are coming. Bill, did you want to add any final comments? I would just say thank you to everybody that joined us. Uh, this is a brand new initiative for us, uh, Nation of Patriots joining with Jenny and Pampered Chef getting into the cooking business. But for us, it's all about getting our name out there and finding new and creative ways to raise money for this cause. It's very near and dear to our hearts. Um, so we can't thank you enough for joining us today. Hope to see you on additional shows. And by all means, if you found any value here, please, please, please pass the link along. Um, it would do us a tremendous amount of good. Uh, tune in to our, our Facebook page uh, for updates on um, the Patriot Tour, uh, what we're going to do with that, how we're going to push past this COVID issue, get the flag on the road for the 11th year uh, running, and uh, some more updates in these videos. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Bill. And I just want to let everyone know I'm going to stay on the line to answer chat questions, demo more products, um, answer questions about the recipes or any of the products that I've shown. So if you want to stay on the line, um, Keith will unmute you and turn your cameras on. And I'll just, I'll be here for questions or comments. So thanks, everyone.